is a lost cause, just like a bubble on the water. Beautiful for a moment, then total destruction. The more it takes from them, the more tightly they hold on to it. And the more incompetent they are, the more determined they are to fight it. <laughs> it's such a farce. You have to see the funny side. how many people are exhibiting these symptoms? I haven't had the chance to do a full count yet. Kokomi, Goro, uh, what's going on? Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. I called them in for questioning and found out they'd privately acquired some secret weapons from our sponsor. Most of them are highly ambitious types, vehemently opposed to the Vision Hunt Decree. They've been using these new weapons secretly since getting a hold of them. So that's why the war has been going unusually well. But risky secret weapons are not the answer. We must put a stop to it immediately. Goro, have you managed to acquire one of these weapons? <sighs> well, most of the officers refuse to hand them over. Still, I did manage to get one. Do you know something about this? So that means our secret sponsor is the Fatui? But why would the Fatui do this? Forget that. There's no time. Right now, we need to inform the whole army to cease using their delusions immediately. All soldiers who have shown symptoms are to be taken for treatment. I just hope we'll be in time to save them. Wait a second. Speaking of soldiers with symptoms... No! Surely he can't have... Uh, let's go check on him. Oh! <coughs> hey guys! What are you doing here? Just a moment, let me- let me get up. <sighs> it's weird. I don't know where all my strength's gone. Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. I haven't had time to give you the full details. Well, I made a lot of great contributions to the war effort lately. Uh, fighting. Shogun's army at sea, taking on Shogunate Samurai all by myself, rescuing my comrades from... from an ambush. Things I never would have dreamed I could do when you first met me. If only I were stronger still. The stronger I am, the more I can do for the resistance. Wait a sec. Where's my secret weapon gone? Um... It wasn't long after you were made captain of Swordfish 2. I met these... mysterious people. Said they were with our supporters. They gave it to me and said that as long as I have the will to become stronger, his secret weapon will answer my call. <laughs> it's just like a vision, isn't it? Of course, I, I've i never used a vision, so I wouldn't know the difference. Delusion. <coughs> oh, God. That doesn't sound very good. So, what's the difference between a, a delusion and a vision? <coughs> Gosh. Well, I suppose it's not too surprising that a mysterious weapon of... Unknown origins would come with its risks. I've been getting more and more tired over the past few days, and I have this strange sense of dread. At first, I'd find I was a little more beat than usual after a battle. Didn't think anything of it. 
But today I... I got back and suddenly my vision was going blurry. This is a real shame. There I was, thinking I was catching up with you. <laughs> Guess I didn't receive the favor of the gods after all. Hey, would, would you do something for me? When our uniforms are ready, grab mine for me. Bring it back here <coughs> and we can change together. What's that look for? Don't worry, partner. As soon as I've rested up, I'll be right as rain. Right as rain, I tell you. As soon as I've rested up. Tepe! Hey, where are you going? Hey! How's Tepe's condition? I have put out the order to cease all delusions. The vast majority are showing some loss of vitality, but nothing serious. Sadly, a few have been less fortunate. Your Excellency, I'm planning to establish a dedicated field hospital to monitor their condition. The soldiers are up in arms about the band, though. They know full well what a delusion is, but they still intend to keep using them. Okay. I'll leave you to deal with the situation. I have to get to the front line. This whole fiasco is certain to be a blow to morale. If the Shogun's army attacks now while we're scrambling to recover, it could well undo everything we have achieved so far. What are your thoughts? No, it's too dangerous! The Sakoku Decree is still in force, so their delusions must be produced within Inazuma's borders. To organize an operation of this scale, they will have had to mobilize a huge amount of manpower and resources. They can't have done it without local support. If we want to stop them, we have to destroy the factory where the delusions are made. But it's sure to be heavily guarded. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. At least take some troops with you. Your Excellency, given the urgency of the situation, we were hardly discreet when confiscating the delusions. The Fatui are sure to take notice. If we spend any longer amassing our forces, they will get wind of our plans and make their escape. Very true. Let me think. I gave this some thought while you were confiscating the delusions. The side of the factory must be big and secluded, but close enough to a transport route to ensure the supply of raw materials. Not many places meet these criteria, and if we take the locations where our soldiers receive their delusions into account as well, I suspect the site is likely to be the cliffs, near the ocean at the southwest of Yashiori Island. I'm not going to stop you, but please, be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you too. Huh? You mean... To the Delusion Factory? Really? You aren't gonna think it over first? Ugh, fine. Just what will we come across this? Wait a second! 
closer to get killed. Are they getting this from Rito? So they have the mission on it. Few moments later. Yeah. Yeah. You need a huh? yeah. ah. Fuel's clogged. You actually managed to find this place. Congratulations. So you're another Fatui Harbinger? Like Senora and Child? Senora and Child. <laughs> I didn't know you and my two least reliable colleagues were acquainted. I'm the Balladeer. Number six of the Fatui Harbingers. Delighted to meet you, oh mighty traveler. So many visitors today. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, so that's what this is about. I think you've got the wrong idea. I know how this looks, but I'm just here to follow orders. I'm obviously not the mastermind behind this. Aren't you supposed to be pretty tough? What are you waiting for? Go get them. You're getting all worked up over nothing. <sighs> Didn't have you down as being so weak. How can you say this is nothing? How can you call it anything more? It's the way of the world. Human life is worthless. They were always going to die. With or without a delusion. At least having one gives them a chance to fulfill their ambitions. Do you have any idea how useful the Vision Hunt decree is to us? It took a lot of work to make it happen. Obviously, it was in our best interests. Good news is, our hard work is finally paying off. Generating conflict creates a big market for delusions. Now we just let the promise of power draw in the weak. For just a small price... They get the feeling of controlling the world, trading their life for supreme power. Pretty good deal, don't you think? So, the Fatui started the Vision Hunt Decree? You've been behind it all along? From the outside, Inazuma looks pretty impenetrable. But on the inside, it's a land of opportunity. With a little effort, we were able to break them down from within. Eternity stretches things out over a long time, but each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. Take your friend in the Resistance, for example. There's nothing you can do now. He's a lost cause. Just like a bubble on the water. Beautiful for a moment, then total destruction. The more it takes from them, the more tightly they hold on to it. And the more incompetent they are, the more determined they are to fight it. 
It's such a farce. You have to see the funny side. Hey, calm down! Oh, uh, no! <laughs> 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 That's it. Just like that. Embrace the anger. Embrace it! The wrath of the gods fills this factory, and it feeds on your anger. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Get up! Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> okay, that's positive. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. about something. Uh, how come you're acting so differently from when we first met you? Am I? Maybe it's because I had the other shrine maidens leave. Anyway, I've always been like this. People show you whatever side of themselves they want you to see. I know this for a fact. Every side of me is the real me. People just like to define things in all sorts of arbitrary ways. This is a human society, <sighs> at the moment anyway, and I'm just doing as I please. Uh, Paimon didn't quite follow. <laughs> Study humans a while longer, my little friend. You'll see what I mean. Right! Paimon was so focused on the Traveler that Paimon didn't notice what you did to get Scaramouche off our backs! What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine, and that I had the Balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant? Would you believe me? <laughs> well, maybe you should be worrying less about that, and more about how exactly you're going to thank me, no? Hmm, maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> hmm. The delusions. They're still on your mind, aren't they? You needn't worry. The leader of Watatsumi Island took some troops to clear the place out. She's also issued a strict ban on the use of delusions across the whole army. With their stronghold exposed, I doubt the Balladeer is stubborn enough to try and retaliate now on his colleague's behalf. It would be more trouble than it's worth. Ah, <sighs> I must say, I would relish the opportunity to watch the Fatui getting a taste of their own medicine. Well, anyway, that's Ungonomiya Kokomi. She really outdid herself this time. I'd love to have another chat with her again in person, but alas, Belief systems can be such a hindrance sometimes. A hindrance? Should you really be saying that as the Gucci of the Grand Shrine? Anyway, I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. You've met her, right? I'm not talking about the puppet. I mean her. You've met her, yes? Yes, the true Raiden Shogun, who meditates endlessly in the plane of Euthymia to preserve her being. Her name is A. Are you saying that the one we met at the ceremony was just a puppet? And the real Raiden Shogun is the one that the Traveler met later? And does that mean that when the battlefield changed, so did the opponent? <sighs> Because this is the ride in Shogun's eternity. Before pursuing the eternity of her nation, she had to reach eternity for herself. 
Since the physical body will eventually turn to dust, she replaced hers with that of a puppet. And since the spirit is susceptible to erosion, she placed her consciousness inside her sword, where she remains in a meditative state, free from all disturbances. So, that place that she carved open with her sword... The Plain of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. A place that typically only allows her existence. She shuts herself off in her inner world, leaving all the affairs of the outside world to be dealt with by a puppet, who has a singular focus on the pursuit of eternity. Huh. This is the approach A has come up with for realizing eternity. You mean Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. A surprising decision by Liuez Archon. What a fascinating god he is. It seems like the Raiden Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Don't you think? The grand notion of eternity she once held has long since given way to the eternity of her own definition. And ultimately, her eternity is defined by fear. The fear of loss. The truth is, we are on the same side. You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. The key is that the Plane of Euthymia represents A's inner world. Defeat her there, and you may well have the chance to shake the Raiden Shogun's will. So this is your plan? To abolish the Vision Hunt Decree? Not by talking her out of it, or through an armed resistance, but by, uh, hopping inside the Raiden Shogun's inner world? You're a fast learner. In short, this is the last chance to get Inazuma back on track. Otherwise, an eternity of darkness awaits. Don't you realize how special you are? Remember, the plane of Euthymia is a space where only she is allowed to exist. The fact that you could appear there tells us one crucial thing. That you have piqued her interest. Perhaps it's because she has never seen an individual who is so unpredictable in the face of eternity. Has no one else ever been in there? None. No one has seen the devotee of eternity since she shut herself away. In fact, no one even knows what it looks like in there. Your existence is more than just an opportunity. It's the very key to all of this. To that I say... Well done, child. You did not disappoint me after all. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? Anti-Raiden Shogun training. I've prepared a special program just for you. Come along. <laughs> We're gonna do it here? Uh, and what's this mechanism for? Think of it as a catalyst that can reproduce the Raiden Shogun's combat moves. I made it from my own memory, which means it should be perfectly accurate. <laughs> Unless, of course, her skills have declined. It'll give you a chance to figure out her moves in advance and come up with a counter strategy. That should be a big help, don't you think? The aim is to try to not get hit by the attacks. Since you've escaped certain death at her hand once already, I presume this shouldn't be more than you can handle. about the Raiden Shogun. Hmm? You mean me? 
Perhaps it's because I'm the Electro Archon's familiar. What? Like Devalin is to Barbados? Huh. Never would have guessed by looking at you. <laughs> it sounds like you'd be more persuaded if you saw me in my fox form. Hmm? In your dreams. More curious than my appearance is the fact that she and I don't see each other anymore, wouldn't you say? A nation to last for all eternity is a dream that she and I both share. Hmm. But I don't think that's the same thing as complete stasis. At some point, she started going down a path that became increasingly difficult for me to join her on. You know... A never said goodbye to me before she stepped into the plane of Euthymia. Perhaps it's just my wishful thinking, but I think she did this deliberately, as her way of keeping our friendship eternal. By neither saying goodbye nor seeing me again, our relationship will remain forever how it was. In her mind, at least. Since we've embarked on two very different paths to eternity, I can either continue to maintain the status quo, or do whatever it takes to bring her back on track, regardless of the cost. I have chosen the latter because... If stubbornly isolating herself in the plane of Euthymia is her idea of eternity, then my duty as her eternal familiar is to drag her back out of her own head and into the real world. Aw, Miko. You sound like a really great friend. <laughs> I'm only telling you this so you can properly understand my plan. Could you possibly spare the sentimentality for the time being? Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. Time for anti-Raiden Shogun training phase two. There's a part two? You did quite admirably. I could see your determination and your hard work. So, do you think we're ready to beat the Raiden Shogun now? How do I put this? You're no match for her at all. Wait, what? So all of this was a complete waste of time? <laughs> you are the most important part of the plan. I know what I'm doing. You don't think I'd leave you with no chance to win at all, do you? Speaking of... Traveler, what do you think of the Resistance Army's chances? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Perhaps they occasionally best the Shogun's army in open battle, but when they face the Raiden Shogun herself... Considering even their visions have been taken from them and embedded in the statue, they're ultimately quite helpless. You don't have to be so blunt. The Traveler's the captain of Swordfish too, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to belittle them. On the contrary. It is precisely because of their helplessness, because their visions have been taken from them, that their will is all the more precious. In short, if everything goes according to plan, they may yet prove to be helpful. Oh, goodness, is that the time? I have another guest to receive today. We can talk more back at the Grand Narukami Shrine. All of the seven your entertaining guests? <sighs> Hyman's really struggling to understand how you work. Okay, we can talk here. You ask me about the plan. In fact, I've been mulling it over for quite a long time. Before one makes a plan, what is the most important thing one must do? Huh, don't know. Uh, what is it? You must understand the situation you are facing. 
The Vision Hunt Decree was obviously devised as a means of manipulating the Shogun. The ones behind it knowing full well her susceptibility as a puppet, with a single-minded focus on eternity. Yes, this is the strongest piece of evidence we have to go on. Now, we also know that every aspect of the Vision Hunt Decree's promulgation and execution has been enthusiastically spearheaded by the Tenryo Commission from the outset. Ayaka was saying that every time they submitted a petition against the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo and Kanyo Commissions would veto it straight away with no negotiation. Yes, it's all too clear that both the Tenryo and Kanjo Commissions are in some form of collusion with the Fatui. <sighs> Foolish humans, blinded by their greed. Thus, the current situation is that our Fatui antagonist is still at large, has the two rogue commissions wrapped around their finger, and is distributing delusions from the shadows. Unfortunately, Given that said antagonist is under the protection of two commissions and the Raiden Shogun, we would be rather hard-pressed to track them down. So, what should we do? It will be easier for us to start with someone from Inazuma. So my plan is... to incite rebellion in the Tenryo Commission. Rebellion? What are you talking about? After everything you just said, it sounds like the Tenryo Commission has rebelled already! <laughs> <laughs> when I say rebellion, I don't mean betraying the Shogunate. I mean, inciting a certain someone to betray the Tenryo Commission. If we manage to convince her, I'm quite sure we'll be able to get you another audience with the Raiden Shogun. I'll give you a clue. She's currently in charge of the Shogun's army, she visits the shrine at this time every month, and she is our guest today. She also appears to be standing right behind you. Don't move a muscle. You've got some nerve showing up here in the shrine when there's an active warrant for your arrest. Don't even think about trying anything. Surrender now. You're coming with me to headquarters. Seize him! Affirmative. Kujusara! Ah, ah, ah. It seems that you're forgetting. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine. Use of force here is strictly forbidden. Before you proceed, which of you would like to face criminal charges for dishonoring the Shogun, hmm? Ugh! Gujiai, please tell me you are not sheltering a wanted criminal here. We are just friends. I don't see what sheltering has to do with it. Tell your subordinates to leave. We have things to discuss. All of you, outside! As you wish. Gujiai, I'm a little curious. Does it not also dishonor the Shogun to hide a wanted criminal at her grand shrine? <laughs> You're the same as ever, Kujosara. No one can match you when it comes to loyalty to the Shogun. As a servant, loyalty to the Shogun is my duty. And as a warrior, I dedicate my life to following the way of the Shogun. Even though she will one day... ...seize your vision, too? The Vision Hunt Decree is the Shogun's chosen course, and I shall not question it. Oh, it's tragic. Such wholehearted devotion, rendered meaningless by circumstance. Have you been kept in the dark? Or are you the only one left in the light? Lady Guji, I need you to be direct. Tell me exactly what you mean. The Vision Hunt Decree is a trap. Part of a Fatui plot to bring Inazuma to its knees. And your masters, the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission, they're the ones keeping the truth from reaching the Shogun. You're saying the Kujo clan... ...betrayed the Shogunate? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Guji Yai, your allegation is not only dangerous, but ridiculous! 
The Tri Commission has served the Shogun since ancient times and remains absolutely loyal to this day. Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, I have seen and heard nothing but pure devotion toward the Shogun. At every level of the Tenryo Commission, especially from the head of the clan, Kujo Takayuki. He reveres the Muso no Hitotachi more than anyone. My own respect for the Shogun pales in comparison to his. How could he ever even dream of acting against the Shogun? Three days. Come back here in three days and I will show you the evidence. As a Guji, there's one thing I know very well. People believe whatever they want to believe. Some things you do not see, simply because you do not wish to look. And so, it falls to me to place the truth before your eyes, in all its ugliness. Hmm. Three days? I'll be here. But if I don't see any evidence, I will demand a formal apology for slandering the Kujo clan. Also, he will have to come with me. Wonderful. Then I'll see you in three days. I look forward to it very much. That was so scary! Haima wasn't expecting to run into Kujosara here. But, Miko, you mentioned evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Is that all in hand and good to go? Or... Why are you always asking so many questions? Of course not. I just had to say something because I clearly wasn't convincing her. <sighs> not entirely unexpected. As plans go, changing the deity's mind is a huge gamble to begin with. We can't expect to be in control of every last detail when we're facing off against a god, can we? Okay, but what are we gonna do though? We only have three days! If we want to get our evidence, we're going to need some help. Now, come with me. We must awaken the professional.